Okay, on uh, this part, we're going to be discussing Mer Merlin in the Middle Ages of ancient England. Um, and again, I want to point out and uh, make sure you go to the YouTube address that's listed to watch the entire show. It's very educational and in like I said before, it makes you think, it makes you wonder. So, all right. <coughs> um, on Merlin, like I said, um, he was a real person, but he wasn't as he was portrayed in the books. Merlin the Magician, uh, Knights at a Round Table, Camelot, and all that other stuff. That's all fictional just a story. Um, uh, a book was written, the original text, very old text, written by a Geoffrey de Monith, de Momoth. Uh, it's hard to pronounce that last name, but it's um, Geoffrey, D-E, and then M-O-N, M-O-U-T-H, Munmoth, something like that. But I thought you'd want the spelling in case you wanted to look it up yourself. Um, he wrote a book called, and it has three titles to it. Forgive me if I mispronounce them. Uh, D. <coughs> the first title is D, as in D E, and then Mon Muta, or Moni Muta. Um, M O N E M U T A and then Vita Merlin V I T A Merlin with an E at the end and then Vi de Merlin V I E D E Merlin okay he wrote about the prophecies of Merlin in 1135 AD prophecies of Merlin were published based on text from the 5th century describing him as a Celtic shaman, half man, half demon. Uh, Merlin, the English version of an older Welsh name, uh, Merthin, but the spelling of it is M Y R D D I N, but it's pronounced Merthin, M E R. T H A N. Go figure. Strange ancient names and spellings. Um, the ancient Welsh called him Merthyn Wilt, Merthyn the Wild, half crazed man of the forest. The name Merlin or Merthyn might have been a title more than his name, a uh, title of a mad prophet. Uh, I'm going to post the address about that and also I want to get to a site I can't publish any of this information because it's copyrighted and I did email the owner of the site and he's a stickler for his contract I mean I don't blame him you know um, but he has the entire um, the entire prophecies of Merlin. Now, if you want these, I can email them to you. I just can't publish them. That's the funny thing. I can give you the email address. I mean, I can give you the website if you email me, and I'll flash my email here so you can take it down. And if you want to see all this, because he has all the prophecies of Merlin along with interpretations. And his site, I've found so far, is the best on the prophecies of Merlin because he has the interpretations. And um, like I said, if you want this site, I can mail it to you. I just can't publish it. So... Um, I, I can read a little bit. 
I'm going to go down here. Um, the section called Emerging into the 20th Century. I will read you one passage that interests me. And, um, let's see. This is monkeys. Okay, this is about uh, AIDS. Uh, okay, the this passage, this prophecy passages, passage, this is how it reads: <clears throat> The baths of Badwin shall grow cold, and their salubrious waters engender death. London shall mourn for the death of twenty thousand, and the river Thames shall be turned to blood. The monks in their cowls shall be forced to marry, and their cry shall be bared upon mountains of the Alps. Now, the interpretation I'll read, um, part A, which is the first part about the baths, came true during the period of 1979 to 81. A tragic freak accident occurred in which a girl died of ambionic men oh goodness gracious this world this word is a mouthful I'll spell it out maybe that'll help M E N I N G I T I S I have no idea how to pronounce that uh, after swimming the ancient hot springs of Bath Beden this caused the closure of the springs and some disruptive drilling around the main source. The water has not been reopened for swimming to this day. Uh, Ambodia were found naturally in all hot waters worldwide and generally do not cause illness unless the person is prone to certain forms of Mm, that's that word again. M e n i n g i t i s. Oh, goodness gracious! Meningitis. Duh. Meningitis. Okay. Thus the waters grew cold, for the original springs was closed and sadly caused one death. Then on part B, in the same time frame, there is a disaster in London. We might be tempted to see. It has reference to the London Blitz in which many people died. It has also been su suggested that the illusion of monkey monks being forced to marry refers obligate, obligated I have no idea O B L I Q U E L Y to the AIDS and HIV epidemic with in 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 reference of sexual behavior and transmission. Check that out. Somebody knew about a disease before it even happened. <sighs> anyway, I can't go into too much more detail on his site. I'd love to, but I have to respect his wishes. So, if you want the site, I can email it to you and you can read it over for yourself. Okay, we're going to go on to the Native Americans. Now, the Native American oracles in the 1890s, the Lakota Sioux Shaman, um, in the show, it does uh, give a small reference to him. It doesn't go into great detail, but it does say the shaman's name was Black Elk and he was the creator of the ghost dance and um, as white people saw them dancing they thought it was a threat and started killing them go figure um, and this part's almost over but I'm gonna continue on with the Hopi tribe because it does give more information on the Hopi tribe. So I'm going to end it here for now and continue with another part.